Hi everyone, we are starting trigonometry, also known as tricks for short. Our first part looks at radians. So in mathematics, we have learned that we can measure angles using degrees. There's also another unit that can be used for measuring angles and is called radians. The number of radians in a circle is 2 pi. Radians are can be measured in terms of pi and this little c at the top is representing radians just like this little o at the top represent degrees the c represent radians thus 2 pi radians equal 360 degrees so pi radians would be 360 divided by 2 which is 180 degrees so that is very important to remember when we are converting from degrees to radians or radians to degrees. So we are going to look at two examples. The first example involves converting from radians to degrees. So from before, pi radians equal 180 degrees, we would like to convert 3 over 2 pi radians into degrees and just to note that 3 over 2 pi radians is the same as 3 pi all over 2. Both of these things mean the same. So pi radians equal 180 degrees. So 3 over 2 pi radians would be 3 over 2 multiply by 180 which is equal to 270 degrees. Example 2. Convert 50 degrees to radians. So now we are doing the opposite. So if pi radians equal 180 degrees, then the converse is also true. 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So 1 degree equal pi over 180 and 50 degrees would be equal to pi over 180 multiplied by 50, which is equal to when we're simplifying you would get 50 over 180, which can be reduced to 5 over 18. The pi remains as pi in the answer. We do not simplify the pi further. So our answer is given in terms of pi. Next, we are going to move on to area of a sector and arc length. So we have two formulas here that would be new. The length of an arc equal r theta and area of a sector equal a half r squared theta. Just to recall from mathematics, a sector is a part of a circle comprising of two radii and an arc similar to a slice of pizza. So to find the area of a sector, you would have learned before that it is a fraction of the area of a circle so the formula that was taught in mathematics was area of a sector equal theta over 360 multiplied by pi r squared. However, this formula is used when theta is measured in degrees. But when we have theta being measured in terms of radians, then we use our new formula here, area of a sector equal a half r squared theta. Same goes for arc length. We use L equal R theta because these are our formulas for when theta is measured in radians. Next, we are going to look at some examples in calculating length of an arc and area of a sector. An arc PQ subtends an angle of 2 fifths pi radians at the center O of a circle with radius 10 centimeters. Find part A, the length of the arc PQ. So our solution for this part, we start off by writing our formula. L, or you can use the words arc length, equal R theta, where R is our radius 10 cm, theta is our angle, which is 2 pi over 5 or 2 fifths pi, so substituting those values and simplifying, we are just simplifying this part of it and we are leaving our answer in terms of pi. So we would get 10 multiplied by 2 fifths equal 4 and we put back the pi 
and our units for length of an arc is centimeters. So part B, area of a sector, POQ. Area of the sector is found by using our formula a half r squared theta, substituting our radius r is 10 and theta 2 fifths pi, simplifying all of it except the pi will give us 20 pi cm squared. So in this case, both length of the arc and area of a sector, the final answer is given in terms of pi. Ensure that the appropriate units is also used. So length of an arc units would be centimeters, area units for area would be cm squared. Exercise. AOBC is a sector of a circle with radius 9.6 centimeters and angle 1 third pi radians. 1 third pi radians can also be expressed as pi over 3 radians. Find in terms of pi the length of arc ACB. So our solution arc length is equal to r theta substituting r which is the radius 9.6 and theta is 1 third pi or pi over 3. Now when we are simplifying just as before you just need to simplify this part of it and we leave our answer in terms of pi. So our final answer there is 3.2 pi centimeters. The second part of the question is asking us to find the area of sector AOBC. To calculate the area we are using the formula a half r squared theta, substituting our values for r and theta. And again, we are simplifying just this part of it and leaving our final answer in terms of pi. So we would get 15.36 pi centimeters squared. So that's it for part one of trigs, which involves how to convert from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. We have learned that pi radians equal 180 degrees. The next thing we have looked at is calculating the length of an arc and the area of a sector when our angle theta is given in radians. So we have learned two new formulas which were area equal a half r squared theta and arc length equal r theta and we saw that these two formulas can be applied to questions in terms of finding our area and length of an arc. So please look out for the second video which is part two of trigs which involves learning what quadrants are and how to solve simple trig equations. Thank you.